ladies and gentlemen, this is a scarce and sort of um, specialist but readable book um, published in 1853 uh, called The Cloister Life of the Emperor Charles V by William Sterling, uh, published by John W. Parker and Son, West Strand, with this spectacular title page, most unusual um, sort of woodcut illustrated um, two-colour title page of the type I have a type I haven't really seen um, before with original tissue paper um, uh, guard there as you can see um, the binding is original uh, there are, there's a torn strip uh, the partially torn strip across the top there the spine but the binding is sound but ragged externally at the edges but the contents the text block is fine and fairly clean if a little yellowed and the book deals with a, with a very um, fascinating period uh, not often written about of history the abdication and and subsequent um, monastery life of the Emperor Charles V, the famous Holy Roman Emperor, retired at, at, in his um, sort of uh, around the age of 50, a few years before he died, uh, only a few, very few years before he died. And the whole book is about the details of his abdication as a lengthy description of the whole ceremony of abdication. And then it's about his travels to his um, Spanish um, monastery uh, from the Netherlands, the Spanish Netherlands, to across around the coast to, to Spain. And it's about his day-to-day -day life, uh, his retirement in the monastery. It's about the Spanish Inquisition uh, as well. And it is a, a detailed study of the last three or so years of the life of the Emperor Charles V, his health, his garden, it says here, his poultry and fish ponds, his care for domestic comforts. Um, it's about incredibly detailed day-to-day -day life in the monastery in Spain, where Charles Charles V retired, having abdicated uh, his responsibilities as Holy Roman Emperor. There we are, a very unusual subject matter and a charming title page. Thanks so much indeed. Oh, by the way, um, I, the first three copies of this book I looked up on the internet uh, on various antiquarian book sites were £80, priced at £80, £91, and, wait for it, £341, okay? So my starting price is rather less than that. Thanks so much indeed. Bye.